All right, so the cotter pin um, should be pretty easy to do. Uh, it's 2.5 inches long total. The hole, again, it doesn't specify what size the hole is. It's just a matter of sticking uh, something else in there to keep it from sliding out once it's onto the uh, trail hitch. Uh, but we want this to be 2.5, 0.5, and then the radius of curvature here is 0.5. So uh, basically this would be about 0.5. The center of rate curvature would be about here. So 0.5 down, 0.5 over so that this would connect. So keep that in mind as we try to create this part. And on shape, again, I set it up already to where all I have to do is tell I want to sketch. This is making a new sketch. I like using the front plane. And uh, we can do our 2.5 basically rectangle. Um, I think it was 2.5 for our, um, what do you call the thing, our diameter of the pin, so we want to have that, so it's 0.5, so we want it to be uh, 2.5 long, 2.5 long, and 0.25 Quad. And then from there, we're just going to create a line. Actually, let's do a construction line here, which is just a line going straight up. That should be 0.5. This will help us get that radius of curvature correct. Uh, I want a construction line there, so oops. get out of the line feature, escape. And so then we could do a oops a arc center point arc. So we know this is our center point point five radius that will go from here to there. We can escape that and draw a line from this point vertically upward. So the yellow lines, if it's solid blue, that means I'm not vertical. I'm trying to constrain it to be straight up and down. So we want it there and 0.5 high. Escape. And for some reason, this doesn't seem to go on 0.5 high. So let's try and relook at that. So, point five. Yes. Um, so, with that done, my sketch is pretty much done here. And then I'm going to tilt this slightly on an angle. We can revolve, as long as we got a whole section here, we could revolve this piece along oops, our face. We want this entire rectangle. And we're going to revolve it around this top axis, since that's where my line connects to. And we get a cylinder, so that works. And then the other part, I want my sketch to still be visible, so I can still see it. So then we can do a sweep, and we can sweep the section that we want to sweep. Is We want the cylinder to continue, but we want it to curve along that line. So our face is going to be this flat surface here, the top of it. And we want it to follow the path of our line here. Keep going up and keep going up. And 
that pretty much is our cotter pin.